The controlled chaos of Bangkok. It serves as Thailand's hub of commerce, culture, and politics. But that all came to a screeching halt in late 2013, thanks to this man, Sutep Tuaksabon, once a deputy prime minister. For weeks, he and hundreds of thousands of his supporters occupied the streets in protest, calling for the removal of the government run by Prime Minister Yingluck Shinawat, citing corruption and vote buying. He named his protest group the People's Democratic Reform Committee, or PDRC. Sutep now runs the PDRC Foundation. It's about to open a vocational school. He still feels that the nation is not ready for democracy. For other countries, the way to project the people's voice is through an election. But unfortunately, that system does not work in Thailand because elections are subject to corruption. He says he never thought his protest would end in a military takeover. But the coup happened. Here at that same intersection, the site of some of the most intense protests in Bangkok, three years after the coup, it's business as usual. Some say don't be fooled by this apparent normality. Many who supported those protests are not happy with the military running the government. Through multiple broken deadlines to hold elections and the sweeping powers introduced under Article 44 of the Constitution, designed to squash dissent, many feel that the military government is losing its legitimacy. Even though Thailand now is in a, seem to be a quiet, stable, no demonstration at all, it doesn't mean that people are satisfied with military government at all. Wasan Sedike joined the Bangkok protests in 2013. He now feels that they achieved nothing. He still takes to the streets, risking arrest. All the protests we had from the past until now show that we never win. Someone always comes and snatches our rights away. We have been trying to find new ways to protest. Puwatong Pawakapan feels that the divisions in Thailand are about the old powers refusing to give up control, something shared with a slice of Bangkok's population. The main community class believe that the people in the rural law, they are not, uh, they are uninformed voters. They are not qualified to participate in politics. That lack of trust in electoral politics, she says, runs right up to the all-powerful royal palace. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.